Hi everyone, this is Nikhil from .NET Lovers and in this video we are going to start a new video series that is called Low Level Design. A lot of people are facing this issue. There is not much content available on internet about low level design. But when you go and uh, give some interviews, uh, there will be two rounds. Uh, one is for uh, low level design and another one is for high level design. But in this video series, we will be covering only low level designs. In a low level design, you are given a problem, you have to design interfaces, classes, you have to write logic, you have to do unit testing and you are supposed to run the program and uh, show the output. So in today's video, we are going to design a snake game, we will be using c for that. So you would have seen snake game in uh, old uh, Nokia phones the similar kind of snake game we are going to design in this uh, video so uh, let's move ahead and uh, here is a problem statement I have similar problem statement will be given by interviewer so it says design a snake game similar to old Nokia phones used to have uh, and game should have below a uh, set of features so here are the three features listed uh, one is uh, user should be able to provide direction and food should be generated for snake while playing game and initial snake size should be 3 so these three things uh, are provided by interviewer so and in order to design this game I have listed down a set of things we have to consider before uh, getting into design so let's go through them one by one so I have listed down six points we have to consider before getting into design. These points can be applied on any other design problem. So first one is ask question for details. Your interviewer is the best person who can feed more details. So if you have any other queries and any questions related to the problem, you can ask him and try to gather as much uh, as much details as possible next one is uh, list important entities so you should be thinking about the entities you'll be creating in order to design uh, this uh, game and you have to list down all these entities next one is the data structure you'll be using for these entities uh, suppose for the snake game you have snake and the board so what data structure you'll be using to represent snake and the game next one is think of uh, logic so once you have decided on data structures, you can easily think of uh, logic, how the snake will be moving on board and how the board will be displayed to user. Second last one is the any design patterns are there in your uh, mind, you can apply here. If there are any, you can uh, uh, think of uh, that and you can design your problem based on that design pattern and the last one is the unit test cases so you can think of all the unit test cases you might be writing uh, after your code is completed so this is the last step uh, you can skip it now and once uh, we have a working program we can uh, think of uh, unit test cases and uh, uh, write them down if you have some time left now we'll discuss each of the point in detail so when it comes to asking question uh, you can ask any questions you have I have uh, these two questions listed for the interviewer so first one is should snake size increase uh, by one after consuming food and second one is uh, when the game will be over uh, if you have any other questions you can uh, ask your interviewer about it next is uh, uh, listing important entities so uh, two entities i can think are most important one is snake and second one is board and if i talk about data structures so snake can be represented by a link list because snake is a chain of sales in a board so uh, i can uh, reach from head to tail using link list you can use any other data structure uh, you think which will fit uh, for board, I will be using an into n uh, matrix. 
Now think about logic. We have one 5 by 5 matrix which represents the board and snake is represented by S and food is represented by F. So this is the initial position of snake and food. Once user gives a direction up, so this cell becomes S and this cell this cell becomes zero. So that's why it looks like snake is going up. Once user gives one more direction as up, snake moves to this location. So this becomes S and this becomes zero. User gives direction one more time up then snake consumes the food f becomes s so now we are not making this cell as zero because now we have to increase the snake size so now snake length has become four so this is how we are going to uh, create this moving snake around uh, this board and uh, yeah this is the logic we'll be using next is any design patterns could be applied so I don't uh, think any design patterns are applied here it is very simple design we have only uh, two important entities one is snake and another one is board so uh, I don't think I could apply any design pattern if you have any design pattern in, in your mind then you can go ahead and uh, use that so I have listed down unit test cases here if you want to do that uh, before uh, getting into design you can do that or you can skip this step and uh, you can do it once everything is ready so uh, five unit test cases i could think of is uh, first one is snake side should be increased uh, once it consumes food second one is snake position should be changed after user queues uh, move direction board should be displaying snake position game should be over when snake hit itself and the last one game should be over when a snake moves out of boundary so basically moves out of uh, uh, its matrix so that's it now we'll be looking into the code how we'll be creating all the interfaces classes objects and uh, we'll be writing logic there so let's move into that This is my snake game project solution. I have added two projects here. One is snake game and another one is snake game to test. First one is having actual implementation and the second one is for uh, unit testing. So let's start one by one. I have this iGame interface. This might be provided by interviewer. So your interviewer will ask you to implement this move method where user can give direction as input and this method will return boolean if this method returns true it means move was successful and user can continue playing game else it means game was over next class i have is the position basically this is a linked list where i have two coordinates x and y x represents row and y represents uh, column in a board because this is a linked list there is a next pointer which will uh, point next node of the snake moving ahead to i snake interface it has these four properties head tail size and uh, direction and there are two methods uh, first one is move head to new position basically it takes uh, new position as input and uh, adds a new head to our snake same way delete tail deletes the tail from the snake and make it second last node as its new tail moving ahead to iboard interface we have only one property called size and five methods are there first one is display board to display board on console second one is add position so when snake moves will have its new position that position will have to display on board that's why we'll we'll be using this add position method to add a new position delete position basically to change its tail position when snake moves ahead then we'll be deleting its tail and we'll be making second last node of uh, snake as its new tail produce food basically will generate food at random location 
so user have to go and feed it snake and last one is is food available basically it will check uh, if the snake head is on uh, cell where food is available or not if it is available then uh, we will be increasing snake size next is snake class here we are implementing isnake uh, interface so i am implementing these properties here head tail size and direction and in the snake i am taking board size board size will be required to initialize snake position so if i go to this method so we are initializing snake position at lower left so here i have initialized head and in the next positions i will be adding more positions so this is a link list uh, here if i want to explain you so this is the head and next is this and next is this so this is how we are creating our snake moving to next method we had to new position basically adding one new position to the head of snake so this is how we add a new node at the front of link list so this is the logic next is deleting a tail so we are deleting the tail which is the last node of the current uh, snake and uh, we, we will be making second last uh, node of snake is tail so this is about it moving to board so here we are implementing i board interface board is uh, character matrix i have used and this is the size and here in constructor i am initializing this board with zeros and after that i will be adding snake position which is represented by s so i will traverse this uh, snake from head to tail and add s wherever i find the snake position let's look into methods add position simply adds uh, one new position and mark it as s it means snake is moved to a new position deleting position basically converting from s to 0 so we are deleting its uh, tail next is produce food here i generate uh, two variables x and y which is random between 0 and size of board so i can generate food at uh, these coordinates i have to make sure that snake is not already there on that uh, position and if it is already there then i try to generate uh, next x and y until this uh, condition is satisfied so once i find a location where a snake is not already there then i just uh, add this f on the board which represents food is food available simply uh, takes input as position and uh, it returns true or false based on if food is available on that uh, position or not so this is board class now we are moving to final class that is game and uh, here we are implementing this uh, igame interface which is uh, provided by interviewer uh, here in constructor board and snake are two uh, dependency injections i am taking and uh, setting it in these uh, private variables then i'm calling produce food so this will produce food on the board and setting is food produce to true so we do not uh, produce food until it is uh, consumed finally we have move method this method takes input from the client which is direction i'll show you what is the direction direction is simply a enum which has four direction right left up and down and here we are producing food if it is uh, not already produced and there are two positions start and end basically head and tail and we are trying to generate a new start position based on the direction if direction is right then we are going to increment y coordinate of current position if it is left then we are going to decrement y coordinate of current position if it is up then we are going to decrease 
x coordinate of current position and same way if it is down then we are going to increment x coordinate of current position so this is how we get the new start position for the snake let's understand this with the help of the grid so this is the snake we have snake start position here and end position is here so start position is uh, fifth row and uh, third column if user gives direction as up then next snake position will be fourth row and third column so basically from the last uh, start position we are decrementing the x coordinate and y coordinate will be same and if we go right from here then we are going to keep x coordinate as it is but we are incrementing the y coordinate so this is what we are uh, doing there once this is done we will check if it is a valid move or not if it is a valid move we are going to execute uh, these steps else we will simply say game is over let's see what is the valid move valid move takes a new head position of snake and try to validate whether it is valid or not first first condition is this new position should be inside the board it should not go outside of the board if it goes then it returns false next condition is this new position should not be one of the position already occupied by the snake it means snake is hitting itself and that will be a game over if both are fine then we are going to return true here so let's see what happens if we have a valid move if we have valid move then we are moving snake head to a new position and we are giving this new start position and direction as input and then we will check if uh, food is available on the new position if food is not available on the new position then we just uh, delete the snake's tail because we don't want to increase the size of snake and also we change the position on board if food is available we do not delete the tail and we let snake grow and we set this is food process false so in next iteration here it can regenerate the food after all we'll just add a new position on the board and we'll display the board to the user and return true so this is all about uh, the snake game and there is one last action extension method i have written which basically converts uh, key input into our uh, direction enum so user can provide any input uh, he can he can provide uh, any characters a b c uh, to the input so we have to be safe here we can only take uh, uh, right right left up and down arrows if anything else is there we'll uh, use the default direction now we will be looking into unit test so there are three classes i have created first one is a board test so board test basically test all the methods of this uh, boards so there was nothing much to test so i'm just uh, returning a happy path so this board dot display board adding a position deleting a position and producing food all should uh, work without any exception and i consider all these uh, tests are passed uh, the last one is food uh, if food is available so i'm just uh, initializing this board and uh, creating a random position so here if uh, food food is available on this position uh, it should return true if it is not then it should return false uh, since i'm not generating any food here it will always return false so that's why i say as a dot pal as a dot false is food available
so this is about it uh, next is game tests yeah so this one is the important uh, one we have here we are creating object of uh, this game and we have only one method here move and direction will be provided by user so all the four directions i am taking so once it is initialized we are initializing it at uh, bottom left so if we give input as up it should return true if it if we give input as right it should return true and in case of down and left it should basically return false so that's what i'm testing here and uh, yeah this is uh, this is working next one is snake taste so here i'm creating object of snake and uh, testing these two methods move head to new position and delete tell move head to new position basically uh, create a new head position so i created one new head position and uh, passed into this method so basically now head should be at this new position so that's what uh, i'm checking here next one is delete tail so basically it should uh, delete the current tail and make second last node of snake as a, a new tail so this is what i'm doing here i'm getting the second last node and then deleting the tail and now new tail should be this uh, second last uh, node so unit testing is completed i'll run all the tests and show you these all are passed so now let's play the game okay so this is our snake and this is the food generated now i'll go right up 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 i'll go all the way up then i all go all the way right so i can consume food now till now the size of snake was not increasing but if i give one more direction is right it will consume the food and size of snake will increase now size has become four if i move more down and uh, this is here our food now I'll have to go left and see now size increased to 5. So there are some edge cases. Uh, if snake goes out of boundary, it should be game over. So I'm, I'm giving direction as down and the game should be over. So you can see game is over now. Now I'll restart the game. And if I show you what happens if snake hits itself so i'm playing it snake consume food now if i go left then snake hits itself and uh, game will be over yeah. so let us know if you like the video and post comment if you want uh, similar kind of videos let us know what low level design would you like us to create and like subscribe and share the video thank you